Hi friends, welcome to my channel Pharma Knowledge by Satyanarayan Siyadri. Uh, in our previous sessions, we discussed about some topics related to pharma knowledge, uh, like EMS related uh, in voice investigation, COPA change control, and validation qualification, and some analytical techniques like uh, water content solubility, and uh, some of the topics like we discussed about guidelines, ICH guidelines, stability study briefly. So today our topic uh, is validation part 2 and uh, we will talk about this cleaning validation, equipment cleaning validation and uh, our topic will cover this cleaning validation and its purpose and scope and cleaning validation, uh, what are the guidelines about this cleaning validation and a sampling procedure. Uh, involves in the cleaning validation and uh, types of cleaning we will cover in our class today. So before going to our cleaning validation, we will discuss briefly about uh, validation. Validation is an established documented program which provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process or method or system will consistently produce a product meeting its predetermined specification and quality attributes. It means actually whether the what are the process or method or system, it should be consistently produced, it should be repeatable and for our intended purpose. There are number of procedures and activities to be validated in the manufacturing industry or other industries. This validation divide into there are number of subsections. Uh, we can see here types of validation, equipment validation and uh, facilities validation heating, ventilation, air conditioning system validation regarding clean rooms of the pharmaceutical industry and a cleaning validation and a process validation, analytical method validation, computer system validation. So these are the number of major validation activities uh, to be validated. And uh, we will cover about today cleaning validation. And before going to this, uh, what is an equipment cleaning? Equipment cleaning is a process to remove contaminants from the process equipment and monitoring the cleaning condition of the equipment such that the equipment should be safely used for the subsequent product manufacturing. And uh, what are the residues remains in the equipment to be removed to predetermined levels to ensure the quality of the next product which we are going to manufacture in the same equipment. This is the cleaning. And this is a method and this is a procedure and all the equipment should be cleaned between uh, batches of either same product or different product in order to remove the product traces uh, residues remains on the equipment so that the contamination and cross contaminants to be avoided this is the purpose of cleaning and let us see one example of the process flow and i have given here a process flow of an api manufacturing in a API manufacturing, there are number of uh, uh, equipments will be involving to get the final product. Uh, you can see here flow. Uh, it will start from charging of the filtered solvent along with our and minus one stage intermediate into a reactor. Then it will go for pre-filtration. Then it will go for crystallization in the reactor. And it will go for a centrifugation step. Then uh, product drying by using the vacuum cone dryer. So it's kind of equipments and drying the material dry material packing then micronization using some millers uh, and uh, for, uh, then sieving after that uh, blending sometimes based on the requirement uh, and uh, finished product packaging and after cleaning and sampling by QC so there are number of activities involved in a manufacture of the one product so during that time we are using there are number of equipments for the manufacturing so in order to ensure there should not be any contamination or cost contamination to further products manufacturing or the same product manufactured in the study we need to evaluate that is the purpose to know this cleaning validation procedure and what is the cleaning validation we discussed the validation is a high degree of reference document to give the assurance on the process or method and the same way cleaning validation is a methodology to use it to ensure or assure the cleaning process 
is capable of removing our chemical and uh, microbial residues of the product manufactured in the piece of an equipment. So during manufacturing, we have to clean the equipment. So the cleaning procedure, the method, it should be capable to remove the chemical and microbial residues to ensure that. So for that purpose, we need to do a cleaning validation. And all the residues are removed in a predetermined levels to ensure the quality of the further product manufactured. So that is the reason we need to do a cleaning validation. We need to evaluate, we need to ensure that cleaning procedure is capable to remove the traces of the product traces, uh, previous product traces in the equipment. And uh, scope, uh, there are number of equipments involved in the process of the manufacturing. So all the equipments or its inside systems uh, uh, pertaining to the process is a uh, scope of the cleaning validation. We need to take all the equipments involved in the process to go for a cleaning validation. And purpose briefly you can see here to prevent the cross contamination and it's a GMP requirement and to ensure the quality of the future products manufactured by using the same equipment. And uh, finally most thing actually most important thing we need to ensure the safety of the patient and to ensure the quality purity and identity and safety of the product uh, should not be altered during manufacturing. And guidelines, uh, there are number of guidelines uh, given there uh, in uh, guideline information about this cleaning validation, how to conduct and what are the requirements. Uh, uh, US FDA has provided guidelines, ICH Q7 provided guidelines and EMA, European Medicine Agency, WHO, PICS, TZA, Canada and uh, ISP, APIC, APEC and ASTM. So almost of all regulatory bodies, uh, they have provided guidelines and uh, documents about this cleaning validation, equipment cleaning validation. You see the importance, uh, this cleaning is very, very important in the pharmaceutical industry to ensure the uh, product quality, identity, safety and uh, finally it leads to the safety of the patient. And uh, we will uh, quick glance on the US FDA guideline uh, I have given here. You can see equipment and utensils shall be cleaned, maintained as appropriate uh, for the nature of the drug uh, which manufactured up in appropriate level, uh, intervals uh, to prevent the malfunction or contamination. Why? Because that contamination will alter the product safety, identity, strength and quality, purity of the drug product and we alter it beyond the established requirements. So that is the reason the firm should have a written general procedure protocols on the how the cleaning procedures to be validated and uh, responsible to be fixed who perform and when perform, who has to approve and who has to prepare the protocol and all and the access criteria uh, to be fixed uh, for the cleaning process and uh, when to be revalidated and evaluation of the cleaning validation is also regulated strictly like it should cover all the aspects uh, the equipment design its MOC and uh, cleaning process uh, and uh, sampling techniques uh, involved in the cleaning validation and analytical methods also to be used during this cleaning validation to identify the product content so let us see another guideline briefly as per SSQ7 there is a subsection 12th section talks about validation in the again 12.7 section talks about this cleaning validation and as per this SSQ7 you can see cleaning processes should normally be validated and the cleaning validation protocol should describe all the aspects equipment to be cleaned procedures to be followed and materials which you need to use in the cleaning validation and acceptable, acceptable cleaning levels and the parameters to be monitored and controlled and analytic methods to be used during validation and types of samples to be collected and how they are collected and labeling also sampling should uh, include swabbing rinsing to detect both insoluble and soluble residues and the validated analytic methods should be used and that method should have a sensitivity to identify the residues or contaminants from the sampling and the limits can be fixed based on the 
pharmacological, toxicological and physiological activity of the API and its most deleterious component. And cleaning process should be monitored at appropriate intervals. It means periodical cleaning also mentioned in the guideline. And finally, the firm should prepare a report to covering all the observations and outcome of the study. So this is a brief information about this cleaning validation, how to conduct and who has to conduct given in the guideline. So procedure, briefly I have given here procedure and a way forward and how to uh, go for a cleaning validation. The first the firm should prepare a protocol, cleaning validation protocol and that protocol should cover these are the uh, sections like object of the study and scope of the study, responsibility of the departments to be involved in the uh, protocol study, and details of the equipment to be cleaned uh, and validation runs, uh, how many runs we need to go, commonly we will go for three runs, uh, that may be during validation, uh, after process validation of each step, uh, uh, each batch or uh, a periodic also based on the campaign products uh, and uh, uh, procedure and uh, how to clean this procedure and the uh, cleaning procedure in that we need to mention what are the, uh, what is the product details uh, we have to mention in the protocol and the uh, cleaning solvents which we need to be used for the cleaning of the equipment and the cleaning procedure step by step procedure and the sampling procedure from the QC how they have to do sampling and from production also and sampling tools which is very very important uh, what are the tools we need to use for the taking the sampling and uh, analytical methods uh, also and after that access criteria and uh, data collection what are the data to be collected during the study and a review of the study and what to do in case of failure of the study and uh, whether we need to consider that uh, particular, uh, particular uh, process step or we need to go for another bad study like that and the conclusion of the study finally so this is a uh, briefly about this cleaning validation procedure uh, these are the steps we need to follow during the cleaning validation of the equipment and uh, regarding type of sampling types of sampling I have briefly given here uh, there are majorly two types of techniques are there for a uh, sampling during this cleaning validation one is a rinse sampling and another is a swab sampling and a rinse sampling is also known as a indirect sampling method why because uh, the re the residue what we are collecting after cleaning is not for the particular location it is from the overall equipment that is the reason we are calling this as a indirect sampling and the residue amount of an equipment after cleaning shall be identified by taking this rinse samples and usually uh, the production the manufacturing person uh, after cleaning of the equipment will take a 10 liter of solvent uh, and they have to flush the uh, they have to flash and rinse the equipment from the top of the top of the equipment from the manhole commonly they have to rinse and flush the equipment thoroughly with the 10 liter of solvent and after rinsing they have to collect the solvent from the bottom wall of the equipment and that uh, sample they need to send to QC for testing to identify the previous product content whereas in swab sampling swab sampling mostly uh, will be performed by uh, quality control laboratory and it is another name is their wipe sampling and uh, this is swab sampling we all aware about uh, this swab sampling. why because no simply uh, during this covid 19 period we know most of the technique most most widely used technique is a uh, swab sampling of the swab sampling during covid 19 period uh, uh, we know all uh, maybe most of the people aware about this swab sampling uh, during this uh, to identify the covid infected person so swab sampling is also known as a direct sampling. The technique is most effective when compared to the rinse sampling. It is a most effective technique. Why? Because uh, we need to uh, wipe the equipment surface. Then it will uh, mostly remove the residues of water contaminant contents in the equipment. We can easily take it out and we can collect in a solvent. We can test uh, for identify the content and uh, here we need a sampling tools uh, for the swab sampling there are a swab stick and a swab template uh, how to collect a sample actually we need to dip the swab stick uh, in our particular uh, uh, soluble solvent mentioned in the protocol uh, we need to dip in that solvent then we need to wipe the portion of the equipment uh, actually uh, 
we need to fix the locations also where we need to correct the sample in a uh, bigger equipment so maybe 5k or 2k 1k equipment in that equipment uh, what are the worst case locations uh, we need to fix based on the for some protocol study uh, what are the uh, locations this uh, that may have more major uh, we cannot uh, remove we cannot clean him easily those portions we need to take for a uh, fixed location to collect the swab sampling and the swab sampling should be in a zigzag motion case like i have given here we need to wipe the equipment like zigzag motion vertical and horizontal position and after that uh, we need to dip that uh, swab stick uh, swab stick in our uh, specified solvent uh, then after dipping in that we need to take it to qc and we need to test for a product content this is these are this is the brief information about uh, uh, rain sampling and swab sampling and what are the types of cleaning there are commonly five types of cleaning or there uh, one is a product changeover cleaning in that we need to take rain and swab sampling in this case uh, we uh, product changeover means uh, from one product to another product uh, we are using suppose one equipment we are using for one product to another product uh, then that case we need to mandate to complete the cleaning validation and a batch to batch cleaning a batch to batch cleaning means uh, same product uh, batch to batch cleaning of the equipment there are uh, we have to clean uh, thoroughly as per the procedure and we need to uh, check visually visual inspection suffice the cleaning procedure and general cleaning wherever the equipment idle for some time after cleaning and uh, prevent maintenance cases and breakdown cases uh, we need to clean the equipment and a periodical cleaning Sometimes uh, we are unable to clean batch to batch uh, of the product um, uh, equipment. Then we need to fix some frequency based on the protocol study. After every five batch or ten batch based on study, we need to fix this uh, periodical cleaning. And new equipment cleaning. Whenever we are taking a new equipment from the uh, outside to the industry or uh, farm, we need to do some type of cleaning, uh, acid wash, basing, base wash, and uh, neutralize of the equipment. So these are the five types of cleaning involved in the pharmaceutical industry equipment cleaning. Uh, I hope you all understand uh, this uh, cleaning validation procedure and types of validation, cleaning validation purpose and scope, uh, guideline reference uh, and uh, sampling techniques involved in the cleaning validation. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching my uh, videos and uh, please subscribe my channel. Please support me. Uh, we will discuss uh, uh, more topics in future we will cover each and every section of the pharmaceutical industry uh, from production quality control and quality assurance we will uh, touch all the topics thank you thank you for watching